I'm still winning. Welcome back to Dream Daddy, we're winning. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure one of these is bad. I don't remember which one it is, though. Can I, can I not escape that? Uh, apparently not. I think you just, oh, okay, you went then. all in. Alright. It's 50-50 now. Oh, the band-aid! What's the point of the band-aid? That's... No, it's spelling bee photo. I guess, yeah. Looking through your phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy's getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will be her third win in a row. Fuck me! Yikes, you lose 5 HP. That was the I bad one. I mentioned Daisy no. said her first win at 10 months. Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Okay, are okay, we oh, we're tied, we're tied, okay. We can still win. Should we still use the item or should we try to brag again? I think the band-aid is good, because I remember there only being one bad item. Okay, I, I trust you. I I hope. The floor, you produce a band-aid from your pocket, take a knee, start to apply it to Amanda's arm. What are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. Anyone would agree it is an unusual gesture. What? What the fuck? Daisy here is all their adult teeth, never had a cavity That's not either. not fair. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. Oh my god. That was so dumb. I remember there being only one battle. Well, all I can do is brag, so might yeah, as well. Yeah, you gotta. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Oh god. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna beat me no matter what then. Yeah. I mean, oh, this that is close. like it's so ah, oh, it's so hard. Words aren't all Daisy's good at the way her math's amazing. One time I actually called her to double check my numbers before I made a cut for a support beam. <laughs> You did that more than once, Dad. Doesn't that say more about him than it does about Daisy? Still. I hope he loses that. Bullshit. Yeah. Man! No, I'm sorry about the- uh, uh, I think we could've won if it wasn't for that last item. Maybe, but he also does more damage to you when you both just brag. Because oh, he always one-ups you. Yeah, but I was ahead of him, though, in health. For like before a while. Before the second last item. I don't know. I, I, it was possible. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was possible, but it's very difficult. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. Arr, did he have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? <laughs> so I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. Do you live around here? Ah. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac town next to the coffee shop. <laughs> what a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world, yeah? Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to do outdo me at everything? Yes, that's the entire relationship. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, I hate this guy then. <laughs> fucking Brian. Mr. Perfect. <laughs> what a lovely place. Pol I'm fucking Jean-Pierre Polnareff. <laughs> the ultimate Frenchman. <laughs> He's like... A f out of shape cacoine. <laughs> out of shape cacoine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. No. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Bye. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. No. <laughs> Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Mm -hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. Oh, it's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Yeah. Too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. <laughs> Let us never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Polnareff. <laughs> Amanda Polnareff. <laughs> we Thank made a you. new canonical this JoJo is... daughter. Yeah, he has a daughter. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. Okay. Hmm. One of these will get us a new dad, the other two will just take us home. Well, I'd imagine taking a nap is at home, and packing is at home, and going to the coffee shop means we're gonna go meet another dad, so we let's will. go meet another dad. I've gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, who the fuck calls that, or I'm gonna be useless all day. <laughs> he used a lot of, like, outdated slang, because he's a dad, and he's, like, 40-something. Yeah, he's, yeah, that pulling up's pretty old. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here, maybe we could check that out. Let's do it! The only acceptable time and place for decaf coffee is, I don't know what I said, probably never. <laughs> we, we walked down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place around the corner. Yes! Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? 
At least when I'm at home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel a little weird about it, because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Mm -hmm. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush with hot shame as you consider the possibility that there's, a, in fact, a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? I have no idea what he's talking about. Aww. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! <laughs> <laughs> we walk inside. Oh. Hey. Okay. I also like him. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls in the patrons' lounge around the well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on the record player next to the little stage. I feel like this is the music character. Uh, yeah, he is. Okay, I automatically like him. He pretty much is. That's yeah. the thing with me. If there is a music character, I like them by default. Oh yeah, and you'll see how he is involved. In. Okay, what's his um, voice? I didn't hear it. He, it's kind of low, but it's like normal. Do you want me to do him? You can do Matt. All right. Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's uh, it's kind of dumb. Oh. It gets mentioned in this poem I like. I thought it was a good idea at the time. I suppose now it's still a good idea because like the business is still running. Mm. But people ask me that question all the time and I give them this same answer every time and now I'm standing here rambling and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But the man, <laughs> we're in it now and I can't stop. Hey. <laughs> mm. So it'll be. I scanned the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. What do we got? I'll have a burger. <laughs> Can I get a boy? Can this guy give me some pleasure already? <laughs> so we got Chai Antward. They're all like music puns. Ice Tegan and Sarah. Godspeed, you black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Whatever you want. I'm pretty sure all of them are fine to pick. Let's go, Godspeed, you black coffee. A classic. Oh, he loves it. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed you, Black Emperor is a really amazing influ influ that, that. <laughs> influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and This guy's already best best man. Hey, uh... I'm doing the thing again. Hmm. But coming right up. Hmm. And for you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. You do. <laughs> coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Or biggie smalls. Uh, medium. Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler than bands than useless than Lin <laughs> I'm sorry. They're cooler than bands than you listen to anyway. Wait, what does what do, what does uh, Polnar have listened to? Hey, hey! Ska. Ska was cool once. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and don't go outside and also don't talk to people. Huh. See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, John Pierre. Hey, uh... Oh, right on. Please meet you both. Hey. Gotta come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. No, oh, this kind of looks like a Kingdom Hearts tattoo. Is it? I've never really looked at it. I don't know. Just the heart kind of reminds me of the logo. It's probably not that, but it's yeah, it's just similar. It's, it's probably some sort of band reference. Uh, I don't know. Could just be random shit. Yeah, I'm sure maybe we'll come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes in the back, comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Uh, the... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that nana bread taste if you want us doing free creative labor. Labor, I think that would be commensurate of with. Uh, I've taught her well. We've trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right. Yes. That. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Hey. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. 
Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Grateful banana bread, right said banana bread, banana bread candies. I like right said banana bread. That's the one that I went with. But it's uh, a, it doesn't. It genuinely doesn't matter for this one. Grateful Dead. Mm. Oh, he what? didn't he like doesn't... it. What? Jam oh, Jam Rock. Is he into prog? Is he a prog snob? Oh no, he's, he's a punk boy. I don't know. He's talking about um, Godspeed, Black Emperor. Actually, isn't his ring to it? Oh, he still likes. Oh, we got it. Got a, really? No, he doesn't. <laughs> That's that just means we're gonna do bad. Strong yeah, decisions. Grateful Banana Bread. <laughs> strong decisions. That's our baby. I want to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. Maybe I should just leave saying baby to the pressure. I love this guy. <laughs> He's really anxious. I love him too. Oh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey, dude. See, it sounds good when you say it. Ooh. Mm. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. That's just like the come hither stare. Oh, yeah. That's just like, hey. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? <laughs> I love that guy. We but... finish up our drinks and head out. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? So I have to go home. Yeah. So I go to sleep <laughs> or I go unpacking. Eh, I might as well unpack everything. If I sleep, I can't unpack. You gotta be productive. Got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is it right behind the cause of fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Probably. Do I smell bad? Amanda gives me a whip. You're fine, Pops. <laughs> Let's go home. I already have the fear. Like, what if I'm gonna look at situations positively? Huh? Hmm. Good idea. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer and dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. Woo! First visitor already? Next time on Dream Daddy, we're gonna open the door and find out who the hell's beyond the door. 